Hey you guys, we are finally at the four week mark with your puppies, Tallulah's litter. Four weeks old today. So I'm in the bathroom, go ahead and go down. Go. In the bathroom, um, wanted to give them more room so you can really see them walk around. Hmm. And I have tagged the girls with collars. So when you see a girl with a collar, like the blue here, that's Emma, and the yellow is Zoe. So we're gonna start with the boys. Here's Spud, they just ate. So we might catch them pooping here in this video, but then here's Spud, otherwise known as Sebastian. <laughs> hey, baby. There we go. And his head is definitely all turning brown. He's changing so much, they're all changing. Mm -hmm. Coloring. And the two that are whining, are, it's not Spud right now. Mm -hmm. So there's his back. Look how big he's gotten. My big boy, mm -hmm. beautiful boy. Look at those ears, ear length. So um, everybody's about six and a half pounds at four weeks, which is ginormous. So we'll get him walking around a little bit. And then next we have Hemingway. Here's Hemingway taking a little resty. Make sure this is a boy. Yep. All right. Hi, bud. Here's Hemingway. Otherwise known as Bogey. And he's just so regal, super contain, you know, retaining his black head and his big brown eyebrows. It's getting a little bit of um, brown coming out on each side of his ear, but it's very faint, so I'm not sure if it'll shut out or not. But definitely retaining his full on black body. Regal, beautiful, beautiful boy. So that was Hemingway or Bogey. And then Lloyd is our boy with the four specks. And Lloyd, look at his head. Look at Lloyd's head. He's totally turning brown. And Lloyd's head is all going to be brown and his ears are turning brown. There's Lloyd's back. Everybody's huge. Oh, and Lloyd is standing on his legs on my hand. <laughs> but look at that. Good grief, they're gorgeous, long ears. Oh, oh, and that's Lloyd making those little grouchy marks. So we'll have Lloyd and um, Hemingway and Lloyd. This is Lloyd, this is Hemingway. See the differences in them? Okay, and then the girls. So our sweet girls, right here, right over here, honey. Okay. Here's Emma. Emma is going to be wearing a blue, light blue collar from now on. Emma. Here's sweet Emma, <clears throat> my little tub. She is such a chunky tub of lard. Awesome wrinkles. <laughs> yeah, awesome wrinkles, and her head is totally turning brown, shedding shedding out all the black on her ears slowly but surely. Okay, and there's her trademarks, those two little white spots on her back. Oh, and who is this whiner? It's okay. Here's my other girl, Zoe. <laughs> Zoe is my regal velveteen rabbit. She has such long ears. I can't see whose who's are longer. Does it show? It's hard to see the brown. Okay, anyway. I think, I think the one with the black ears is long. Yeah, I, her it's ears touch. touch. They all have so long of ears at this age. So that long ear length is going to take after their daddy, Leo, who has like 14 inch length, length <laughs> ears. So anyway, Zoe, who is Michael's new baby, black velveteen rabbit is what I'm calling her. She's just stunning. All black back is going to retain all that beautiful blackness and <laughs> they're so healthy you guys I mean I haven't had any yucky poops or just really really solid healthy um, litter they're all getting really well adjusted not nursing as much but definitely still nursing maybe three times a day versus like ten um, because they're they're eating their solid foods which is mush basically but they're loving that 
and sleeping probably about 80% of the time, playing 20%. Here you come. Here you come. Here you come. Okay, so um, news for this week is I am going to be sending out all of your information, meaning my recommendations on what they should be eating, everything that you need to know about your puppy when you get your puppy. Um, all of my big important things about vaccinations and I'll send you out their schedule and what you need to be doing when you get them. So all the information is coming this next week, either by Monday or Tuesday or before. So check your emails and then I will also be sending out each um, individual bill to everybody. So if you haven't talked to me about arranging when you're picking them up and how you're picking them up, do that um, starting soon so we can um, Make sure I get everybody's health certificates who needs to be um, flying back with you.